There are three crucial settings for AI voice agents that completely change how realistic your AI sounds, and I can personally guarantee you've ignored at least one of them. My name is Tommy. I'm the founder of a Rose AI and have successfully scaled my AI agency from zero to 10K while still in college, building custom voice AI solutions across a variety of niches. I'm also the founder of AI Agency Academy, a free online community of over 800 AI entrepreneurs. And today I'm gonna to be doing a deep dive on some of the most essential AI voice agent settings that you can tweak to make the most realistic AI possible that is production ready either for your own business or someone else's business. So let's get into it. So here we are in retail. Now I just wanna reiterate this advice can apply to pretty much any voice agent platform. I personally prefer retail. It's what I use for almost all of my clients. Um, so what we're looking at here, uh, especially if you're not familiar with retail, is just the prompt is here. And I just built this agent now and gave it two sentences. I just said, hey, have a conversation with me about my day and use casual langu language and um, contractions. Now, the first part you want to start um, with any voice agent and starting to make it sound realistic is the voice. And that's pretty obvious. Um, and a lot of people do pay attention to this, but I find that a lot of people don't realize sort of the options that are out there when it comes to the voice. And they'll really just stay within this, um, uh, whatever's in here. They'll go through five or 10 of these see what sounds good. Maybe they'll mess around with Play HT um, or one of the open AI voices, find one that they like, stick with it, and then never change it. Now, something I just want to key you into, um, and I'll actually give you my personal sort of, uh, the voice I really like, is that you can actually add custom voices. And I don't think you can do this with, you can only do it with 11 labs. Um, I prefer 11 labs anyways, so that's no problem but um, you can clone your voice. But what I recommend is you check out the community voices. Now, if you go to 11 labs and go to their voice library, you'll find there are literally thousands of voices made by random people in the community, as well as um, 11 labs themselves. And here you can search and sort by a variety of different voice types, whether it be age or, or their purpose, such as um, storytelling or conversational AI because really there's no one size fits all voice for your AI agent. It's gonna depend on your use case, maybe the area you're in. Maybe there's, for example, if you're in Europe, you don't wanna always use an American accent and vice versa, or if your agent's gonna be speaking Spanish. Um, that's one thing I've ran into is a lot of the Spanish speaking voices are all from Spain. And so if you have a client in maybe Mexico or Colombia, you're gonna to have to be able to find a voice that's able to sort of bring out that accent and sound natural in that area. And so here uh, you can check out a bunch of voices. There's one I found that is um, named Jack that I really like. But before we switch the voice, I just wanna have a quick conversation um, with this demo agent to show you sort of the baseline. And then as we make changes at the end, um, I'll show you what the finished agent sounds like. Hey there, how's it going? How's your day been so far? It's been good. Um, I'm just recording a video right now. How about yourself? Oh, nice. What kind of video are you working on? My day's been pretty chill just here, ready to chat and help out. What's the vibe of your video? Oh, I'm actually recording it right now. I'm talking about how I can make AI voice agents more realistic. Oh, that's awesome. So like making AI sound more natural and less robotic? That's such a cool topic. Are you diving into stuff like tones, pauses, or maybe how they handle casual conversations? I mean, no pressure, but I hope I am doing okay as an example right now. Um, unfortunately, Simo, you are our bad example. And again, that didn't sound bad at all. Um, so I'm not here to knock what you've built or sort of the defaults on any of these platforms because really they can get you 80 to 90% of the way there. And what this video is about is taking you that last 10 to 20%. And so now let's switch over to Jake. 
And actually, um, one thing I'll show you right now is if you wanted to add one of these voices, say, listen to Knox. It's an interesting voice for sure. But you just hit view here. You would copy this ID. You'd come back over into retail. Um, you go to add custom voice and you'd paste it there. You can also search by the name and it will come up. I find the ID is a lot easier because there's once again, thousands of voices. And so that's how you would import that. If I hit save, just let that save for a second. You'll see that um, that's now the voice I have in here. But uh, I'm going to go with Jake. Hey, I'm your virtual assistant from Retail AI. I'm here to help you handle all the calls. And so you got a little um, spoiler of his voice there. But the next thing I really want to look at is here in the speech settings, as you might expect. And that is the responsiveness and interruption sensitivity. Now, these are again not one size fits all but really even less than a voice um, and it really depends i found a major indicator of where you want to sort of set your responsiveness and interruption sensitivity is based on age now quickly just to um, define what these are responsiveness is how long after a pause in the um, user like who, whatever human is talking to ai However long they pause, um, how long it then takes for the AI to respond. And so this is at the fastest where it would be a short time. If I pause for just a very short time, the AI will start talking again. Whereas if I was to set this down here, I could stop talking. It would take um, the AI much longer to respond. And you can actually see this up here in this latency. Latency is basically that delay that I'm talking about where set at one, this is about around a second it'll take after you stop talking, the AI will start talking again. Whereas if I bring this all the way down here, see this latency jump up to like six seconds. Now, I like to keep this around one just when starting out. And I know that's the default, but if you're working with an older clientele, those people generally start to talk slower and We'll have bigger pauses between when they're talking. And so if you have this responsiveness all the way up and you're speaking with an older demographic most of the time or people that pause a lot, um, then the AI will tend to interrupt them. They can be in the middle of a sentence, just thinking, sort of pausing. If that pause is longer than this latency, the AI will start to respond. And then that's when you sort of get this awkward back and forth, like, uh, ah, uh. And if you've built these before, you've definitely experienced that, where um, the person keeps interrupting the AI, and the AI really doesn't know if the person's speaking or if it's supposed to speak, and can make it sound really unrealistic. So that leads, segues um, very nicely into the interruption sensitivity, which is basically how much a, a person has to talk before over the AI, like the AI is speaking and the person's like, no, 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 how much it has to do that or how many words it has to say before the AI stops talking and sort of gives the floor to the human. And so this, once again, um, is sort of dependent. It's not at one because sometimes it can hear background noise or random stuff and that can cause it to stop speaking and that's super unnatural if sort of, um, there's just a car in the background. And if this is super high, it could hear that and then stop speaking in the middle of a sentence. I would keep these as is, which I know isn't the advice you're looking for, but just listen to your calls and then adjust those um, accordingly because these are the first places I like to look if for some reason the AI is pausing or sort of going back and forth a lot. And um, generally you're gonna wanna turn the interruption sensitivity down rather than up and you'll find that. Now, the last part that is actually a feature that's automatically turned off inside retail when you create an agent. So you may not even have used this or seen this feature before is this back channeling feature. And basically what back channeling is, is when you're talking to someone and as you're saying something, they're like, mm hmm. Yeah, got it. And sort of that confirmation and acknowledgement of you speaking because one of the most uh, sort of uncanny, uncanny valley things about speaking to AI is that if 
you're talking, you hear nothing on the other line. It sounds like the other person walked away from the phone, set it down and, and, and stopped completely, isn't even listening. And so this back channeling sort of avoids that, as well as if anyone's hearing someone go, mm hmm, got it. Like they don't even think AI can do that, um, let alone with a very realistic voice. And so once again, uh, I'm going to turn this all the way up just uh, because I want to hear it in the short demo I'm about to do. But generally, I would change the back channel frequency based on how long your conversations are. So if you're having 10, 15 minute conversations, you can turn it down a bit where the person doesn't say it all the time. If you're having super short conversations, you can turn it up just to make sure it sort of gets those, that back channeling in there. And then, um, and I really want to show it off, which is why I turned it all the way up um, in this short demo. And then if you want to add extra back channel words, really it just says, yeah, and uh huh right now. Um, but I really haven't ever had to add any extra words, but you can. And so now let's test out this new AI voice agent now that you're sort of considering and looking at all of these extra features. It's been good, Jake. How about you? Oh, I'm glad to hear that, buddy. My day's been pretty chill just here, ready to chat and help out. What's been the highlight of your day so far? Um, I'm making a video right now, and uh, I'm happy to be doing that. Oh, that's awesome. What kind of video are you working on? Like, is it something creative, a vlog, or maybe something for work? Sounds like you're having fun doing it. Yeah, I am. Now, um, that demo didn't really go perfectly, but what I like about that is it gives me sort of an opportunity to change things. So I, I, don't, I don't like that they use the word chat. And so prompting is another huge way to make your AI voice sound a lot more realistic. And so I'm gonna say notes. Do not use the word chat. Um, because it just sounds robotic, like, hey, like, have a quick chat. Like, people don't really say that. Um, and then also, uh, in here, you can change the voice speed, temperature, volume. Um, if your voice isn't great, you can always turn the volume down. People hear it less. Um, can't do as bad, right? I also am going to turn the voice temperature down a bit. He seemed to have this sort of weird inflections in his voice that sounded odd, so I'm going to turn that down and then save all that. And now I'm gonna test this and I'm gonna talk for a bit longer and see if that turns on the back channeling. Hey there, how's it going? What's been up with you today? Um, not much, you know, I've been working a lot. Uh, currently I'm uh, recording a video talking about AI voice agents like yourself. Oh, that's awesome. Sounds like you're keeping busy. So what kind of stuff are you covering in the video? Anything I can help with? Um, yeah, I was just wondering if you could sort of um, talk a bit more and talk about your day and we can hear what you sound like. Oh, sure thing. Well, my day is kind of different from yours since I don't exactly wake up, eat breakfast, or go for a walk. But I guess you could say my day is all about being here, ready to help out, answer questions, or just have a nice conversation like this one. If I did have a day, though, I'd probably start it with a good cup of coffee well. If I could drink coffee and spend some time learning new things, what about you? Boom. I saw some more arrows I don't like. Do not use commas or like that. You are an AI voice agent. So I'll put text accordingly. So I'm actually glad it's sort of making these errors on here. And once again, like I said, you can't just change some settings and expect everything to be perfect, which is why um, you have to listen to it, you have to talk to it, and you have to listen to the calls it has. So let's see if it performs any better now. Hey there, how's it going? It's going well. Can you tell me a bit about your day? Uh, I want to hear you talk a bit. Thanks for asking. My day is pretty much the same every day, honestly. I'm here, ready to help out, answer questions, or just keep you company. 
kind of like I'm always on standby, so I don't really get breaks or anything. But hey, I don't mind if what I made for. How about you? What's been the highlight of your day so far? Yeah, talking has been, um, talking to you has been, sorry, talking to you has been pretty good. Um, I like how you didn't interrupt me again there, but. Thank you. I'm glad you feel that way. What's on your mind? Yeah, could you just talk a bit more? Of course. So, like I said, my day is pretty simple and here to help out however I can. I don't really get to experience things the way you do, but I think it's cool that I get to be part of your day. I mean, every time we talk, it's like I get a little glimpse into your world, and that's kind of special. What about you? What's something you've been thinking about or looking forward to? Yeah, so once again, um, not perfect, right? And But that's why you sort of test. I'm sure if I had another half hour, hour to sort of mess around and make something really good, then it would um, sound a lot better. One thing I also want to note is that when you're on the phone, it'll be a lot more muffled. And sort of that inconsistency um, in a muffled voice can make it sound a lot better and sort of cut out a lot of the regular, um, irregularities with these AI voices. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. It gave you a bit to think about. Um, and yeah, I hope you go out there and make uh, really good voice agents. And if you'd like to join my online community, um, you can join it here, the AI Agency Academy. So yeah, have a great day.